Hello, my beautiful little moglets. So, about one hour ago, I asked you which Moonlight hero I should exchange. After almost 500 votes, Kisa seems to be the winner here, but I also did read the comments, and a lot of you guys make a good point about Kisa being in Mystic rotation and asking to go for her in Mystics, and yeah, she's in there for the next entire month, uh, so... I might follow that advice, I don't really know. We have about 1,200 Mystic Medals that we're gonna use in this episode before we decide if, who knows, maybe we get incredibly lucky and we pull her right now and then we could go for someone else. Then I might have, yeah, I don't know, I could go for Ken then, could go for Corvus. Corvus has always been kind of interesting, but he's not a waifu. 144 left until guaranteed. With our 1,200, we're not gonna really make a dent in that. You know, we have 31 Moonlights. I was gonna wait till the next banner, the next new hero to do these, but we got we just gotta do it now. Cause we also gotta get rid of ML Ball before his recall period is up. Let's just see what happens. Without further ado, 1,200 Mystic Medals. That's actually only 24 summons. <laughs> it's a lot less impressive than it sounds. Uh, Pearl Horizon. Damn, it's gonna take so many more. Aqua Rose. Another Pearl. Montmorency. Tonfa. Another Mont. Oh, got some purple sparkles. Yeah, I don't, I kind of forgot again, because, oh, it's the new dude, Roaming Warrior Leo. Do, I'm already a warrior. Again, though, I'm not too sure about him. Like, he's unique. That's about all I can really say about him, but his bomb debuff doesn't, doesn't sound that good. Uh, maybe for something else, but it's like, for PvE purposes, nothing can really be stunned that's a danger, so I don't know. Just seems like two turns is too long. But I was thinking maybe we'll get a unit in the future that can instantly trigger the bomb debuffs, because again, in this, in this other game I was playing, there were units that either had that on their skills or other units that can trigger them instantly. Usually it's on the same hero, but, uh, you know. No, that's probably not gonna happen. That'd be kind of too weird to have <laughs> a character unless they can place a bomb themselves, you know. Uh, so yeah, we're not really getting anything here. Just a bunch of aqua roses. And a compass. Oh my god, that must be a five star. Because it has the gold shimmer. What? Okay. I don't understand what the shimmer is about. I know someone explained it to me already, but like... Okay, I'm not gonna get excited yet, because... I don't know what's going on. Oh... Oh, it's an artifact, <laughs> but it's a five star, so I'm not gonna complain. I didn't really check which ones. Oh, Uberius's tooth. Okay, um, cool, I guess. Oh, we still have eight summons left to do. Damn, what are we? What's going on here? I think it's an artifact, though, apparently, because of the gold shimmer. Purple means hero. Oh, I think purple means moonlight, if I remember right. So gold is gonna mean every other. We need to get some purple sparkles up in here. That doesn't work, I think. <laughs> uh, I mean, another five star artifact would be cool too. No? Okay. Also, I've been saying Magahara's Tome all this time, but it's Magaraha's. It just sounds way less fluid. Magaraha. Oh, here we go. Moonlight. Five star. Let's, let's transform, baby. Oh! No, no, no. Oh my, my god! I will go with what you the hell? The world ends. I'm trying not to scream because um, I see my stuff's peaking already and I'm not even screaming yet. Dude, stop this. What the hell? Thank you for your advices. I would not have even thought about this. Oh my god. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> oh. oh. Thank you guys. Holy hell. What? <laughs> Uh, wow. Who are we going for now? Should we do our Moonlights also? Maybe we get Corvus and then it's easier. Or we get Kin or Chloe. You know, we're on a roll. I guess we're not going to do this anymore. We have actually both the main units there. Going to save that for next month apparently. I don't know. Feels like I don't want to do this now. I feel like that was all my luck for now. Let's do it. Let's do it. We've already come this far. All right, that's gonna be a three star, let's skip that. Sven. I don't get that many Svens. I think I only have like two now or maybe three. 
Gloom Urine. Oh! At least a four star. Come on. Mm, mm, come on. Mm. Boom. Uh, Seedom, please. Alright. Assassin Sid. Who's our target? He is a new one. Don't think he's that good as far as I remember. Yeah, no, he's not he he's not very interesting. Ooh! Come on, let's do this. Come on, you can do it. Uh, okay, I think the dude should already be here. See Dom! This dude again. This is like my third Blaze Dingo, and I already have normal Dingo at Triple S. <laughs> What's up with the Dingoes? Uh, alright, cool, cool. Damn, what's going on? Get out of here. See Dom. I mean, I wouldn't really know what to do with C Dom, but. Uh, a little too late, Crimson. I mean, I'm sure there are people that probably still use her and defend her and be like, that's not that big of a deal. She can still use Arius. But yeah, regardless. Um, cool. I think we got one more. That's not going to be nothing special. Oh, Tilly, she is, she is, uh, she just sound pretty interesting though. She also got a buff, as far as I remember. Yeah, 25% less damage from AoE attacks. And you can know exactly where all the AoE is, you know? That's a lot less damage. And then that goes up to 30%. But yeah, that was it. So, uh, no Kin or Corvus. Very sad me. <laughs> I still can't believe we got Judge Kisa, like... She's here for a month, and I was like, Well, well, there might be time to at least do more summons. Uh, and I, well, I wasn't sure about getting down to the zero for the guaranteed, but holy hell, we just got her. What? 0.6% chance, dudes. We also have our free covenant. I believe we can also get Moonlight Kin out of here or Corvus. I'd say it's just about as good, honestly, the Cursed Compass. Still gonna recall Ball. I just don't like him. I don't know. He's locked. Why? Five star Moonlight Hero Selector. Get our Molagoras back, some penguins. Basically, I can just throw all that stuff in the key so I guess. All right, let's let's do it. I guess. See ya. See ya, ball. Oh well, probably I can hit cancel, but I mean, probably if I hit cancel, nothing's gonna happen. But like, I'm still scared about it. You know? Cancel. Oh, I see. But yes, indeed, you swap it instantly. So he's still here. You know? Recall. And you have to choose one. So if his recall period ends, if it actually ever does, but I'm pretty sure it does, then no different hero. So let's go through. Oh, I, I thought Apocalypse Ravi wasn't going to be in there. I wasn't even considering her. But I mean, I think at the moment people are underwhelmed with her anyway. We have Tenibria. We now have Judge Kise. We have Cecilia. Um... No, obviously. I did really want Ara when she first came out, but first of all, she just got nerfed. And, uh, I mean, I'm sure she can still do well in Arena with the AoE stun, unless they have immunity or outspeed her. <laughs> but, I don't know, she doesn't seem that interesting. Uh, then, of course, Maid Chloe. Very cute. I also didn't put Ruel, whatever the hell she is pronounced like, in the poll because the, you can only put five. I think the general consensus is that Chloe is kind of better now. Because, I mean, she gives the revive and she can revive with this and increased attack. So, then there's Corvus, which also sounds interesting. I heard he's good paired with Assyria uh, to get that cooldown instantly down. So, we're at 570 votes now. If we just knock Kisa out of there, since obviously we're... We're not going to get another one. Kin would be top. And then all these three are kind of similar. I am kind of leaning towards ML Kin because he is kind of one of the ones I avoid now. Um, kind of came full rotation because he was the first, like, really scary unit for me. And now he's kind of, like, the scariest again to, like, fight. So, I mean, unless you have the firepower to one-shot him, which is going to be pretty hard. Um, you know, his counterattacks can really mess you up. Uh, someone did mention that Imelkin did get side nerfed, uh, or got hit hard, uh, because he's usually played with Siarman, who got nerfed. He does mention Avildred as well, uh, saying he's still very strong and his multipliers are very high. They didn't get touched. All around a solid unit. With Alexa's basket, he has the potential to come back even stronger. Greater attack buff on the beginning of the turn is killer. That's something I kind of have to eh about, because it's like 40%, I think, at max, and it's cool that it's at the beginning of the turn, but it's still... 
Like if you're relying on that, you know, way too RNG for my tastes. He said he would personally go a Vildred. You can use him nearly everywhere. Arena, GVG, attack and defense and PV PVE. Yeah, that's true. Definitely good on defense as well, I think. Just, in just insta revive. I mean, he still gets the 100% combat readiness, you know. That by itself is pretty crazy. Okay, I've decided we're going for specimen says. Here we go, boys. I mean, I'm gonna raise Judge Kisa first, of course, before I mess with one of these dudes, but still, you know, it's a five-star moonlight. You gotta you gotta kinda be careful with what you pick. A Vildred just seems really fun to play with the big AoE and then just like carefreelessness. You can die and come back and do it again. That sounds really cool. And then Kin just he feels dangerous still. On the other hand, Kin is at least kind of different from Vildred, because Vildred is basically another AoE DPS, which I kind of have a lot of now, and Kin is more of a bruiser, but like with his counter attacks. I mean, the thing is I don't have a super good arena defense, so I might pick up a Vildred, put him in there. I don't think Lilibet's gained that much popularity yet, or if she ever will, actually. Oh, actually, my defense team seems to be doing pretty well. I have a 0% win rate, though, because I haven't attacked anyone. I got my NPC dudes over here. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like Arena if you couldn't tell. But I'm curious if it's just one dude that attacked me or... Yeah, it just seems to be one guy up here. I mean, I always feel like once I get the right team, I will enjoy Arena again. But I don't know when that's ever gonna happen. Like, I really like the Judith team, honestly. I think I need her even faster, though, because... I still fear getting outsped, especially if there's a speed imprint on the other team. But if I were to raise Judge Kisa, I'd need Oxlots back in there. And he can probably get around 240 as well with some of Judith's pieces. I wouldn't know if she would be enough. Like if I if I if I'm supposed to take two speed imprints, then she does get the extra turn with End of Evil, which is really cool. And then this is AoE also. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the fact she can dispel a buff. That's OP. And then the extra turn going into Wave of Light. I would have no idea, honestly, what to give her. Well, okay, I'm missing Durandal and Border Coin. Obviously, Border Coin isn't important for her. Probably not Durandal either. Since she's going to be in Cleave, Sigurd Scythe wouldn't be good either. Mm, there doesn't really seem to be any, like, good first turn, except probably, like, Portrait of the Saviors is probably what I'd put on her. I really regret not getting more than one of these, honestly. Uh, maybe it'll come back at one point. Gonna farm the heck out of it then. Oh yeah, but there's this one event artifact as well. Not Midnight Bloom, even though I could consider that one for someone else. Oh yeah, it was exclusive to Rangers. Okay. That would have been decent as well, 16%. Yep, probably just going Portrait then. Not immediately, of course. I'm gonna leave it on Celestial Mercedes uh, until she's actually raised. Actually, will all my gear get destroyed? I'm going to take it off just in case. <laughs> Free unequip anyway. I wonder why I can't just get the dang selector so I can do it later. Uh, but yeah. Damn, Vildred. Ah, such a hard decision. Alright, I've decided I'm just going to go with you guys. More people picked Kin than anyone else besides Kisa, and we have Kisa now, so boom. Uh, Let's do it. And you will receive the hero of your choice. Once recalled, this hero cannot be recovered. Let's do it! <laughs> Dude. Is it a sign? Should we not do this, dudes? I'm honestly not too sure why I'm asking right now. This is a recorded video. And now we're getting hit by the connecting. Connection error. Alright, in the meantime, let's see if there's a change of opinion with almost 700 votes now. Nope. Seems to be pretty much the same. I mean, honestly, regardless of what I decide to do, I can consider it a bonus since we got Kisa, you know? So let's try this again. Boom. Recall successful, returning to the lobby. <sighs> I regret everything. No, I'm just kidding, but I'm probably still not gonna do anything with him for a while. But yeah, there's my decision. Thanks for voting. Um, you can leave any other thoughts in the comments of this video if you would like. Say I made the wrong decision, go ahead, do it. But yeah, I've got a Judge Keys to raise, and then later, a Kin, I suppose? Regardless, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Leaving a like if you definitely do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.